Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Today is Australia's National Day of Action against bullying and violence. Justina caught up with some kids to find out how bullying has affected them and how they're standing up to it. Bullying is, is someone constantly picking on someone day after day. Making them feel like they're on a lower level than other people. Unfortunately, bullying is a pretty common thing for young people in Australia to have to deal with. Studies show about one in four Aussie kids have been bullied and that can be pretty difficult to handle. Um, has anyone here ever been bullied before? When I used to get bullied, uh, it, was, it wasn't like hurting hurting. It was just like pushing and shoving and stuff. But it happened all the time. National Day of Action Against Bullying and Violence is all about taking a stand against bullying and supporting people who might be experiencing it. Experts say if you're being bullied or see someone being bullied, things like staying calm, reporting the bullying and getting support from teachers, family and friends or professionals can make a big difference. There's also heaps of resources that can help, like the Kids Helpline, which you can call at any time for any reason. So what do we think about bullying? No way! Yeah. Can you tell what animal makes this sound? Yep, that's a magpie. And it's just been crowned Australia's favourite animal sound. My favourite animal sound? ABC Science has been on the hunt for the animal sound that holds the nation's heart as part of its Science Week celebrations. I, there are too many for me to choose. I'm voting. And more than 150,000 Aussies voted. In the end, the magpie won by a landslide, while the kookaburra came in second and the butcher bird took out third place. But if you ask me, the Tassie Devil was robbed after getting knocked out in the first round. <sighs> How could you not love that? Now to another Aussie animal, the Golden Bandicoot. 40 of them have just been released in Central Australia after being extinct in the area for decades. Here's Alex. One small step for this little bandicoot. One giant leap for bandicoot kind. Yup, this was a pretty special moment because it was the first time in 56 years a golden bandicoot stepped foot onto land in this part of Australia. In fact, 40 of these little guys are now calling New Haven Wildlife Sanctuary home. It's about 360 k's northwest of Alice Springs and it's specially designed to keep them safe and sound with a big fence all the way around it to keep out their biggest predators like feral cats. But it's been a long journey to get here. These ground-dwelling marsupials are actually a gift from rangers in the Kimberley in Western Australia. And there was not one person in the room that didn't agree to being able to help out if we had enough of them to be able to gift and help them bring this animal back here. And they had a thousand kilometre plane ride to get to their new digs. It was so cool to see the plane coming in and to know that all those bandicoots were on there waiting to be released, so it was a really, really exciting moment. Fresh off the plane, the bandicoots were received by Wadi Kanpiri elders. It was really exciting, a little bit emotional, um, and just, just full of pride, really. And 60 more are set to make the journey over next week. Hopefully we can um, inspire future generations to get into conservation. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, now to Beijing in China, where hundreds of robots have come together for the World Robot Conference. Ooh. This is the cutting edge of robot technology. Here you'll find all sorts of weird and wonderful gadgets and devices, from the latest and greatest robotic dogs to a coffee barista that can even do latte art. Oh, it's a heart. Speaking of hearts, this is a fully functioning artificial heart made out of silicon rubber and its creators think it does a decent job of mimicking the real thing. Over to the people cloning department and these lifelike robots of famous Chinese poets look uncannily like real people. But those movements are definitely still quite robotic. You can't fool me just yet. Let's go to some more familiar territory now. Ah, oh, yes, a nice simple robot, just lifting bottles of water and putting them on a shelf. Very nice. All in all, a big year for robotics. I wonder what they'll think up next year. That's all from us this week. See you on Monday. Bye.